Good morning, students. All this while you were using Google Classroom created by your personal mail IDs. Now, Carmel High School has acquired Google Suite through which you will be getting a mail ID generated. Google Suite is an application wherein you have many different applications of Google that is accessible and which is very helpful for our online classes. I will be going, I will be taking you around how to use this Google Classroom, how to upload your assignments to your Google Classrooms, and how to answer your quizzes through this video. Now, let me show you the screen of Google Chrome. Okay. So, I'm sharing you the screen of Geo Google. Here, this screen appears when you click on the browser Google Chrome. On the right hand corner, you have an option called Gmail. You need to click on the Gmail option. When you click on the Gmail option here, it shows you the mail IDs. You have to click on the mail IDs. Now, as a student, I am Suma Savel, and at Carmel High School is my mail ID. You will also be getting your mail ID with the domain name carmelhighschool.org by your teachers. You need to enter your password. Make sure you don't relieve your password to any of your friends and keep it confidential. When you click on next, it takes you to your Gmail page, your account page, wherein you can see all the mails that you have received. Now, if you observe here, I can, you can see all the mails that you receive from your teachers. Now, if you have any issues, you need to send mail to your teachers. You, have, you can click on the plus sign. Can you see here on the right, left hand corner plus sign? That is called as compose. You click on the compose. You get for this particular screen wherein you can type your issues and send a mail to your teachers. Now, right now, if I have a issues, my video is not playing. Now you need to um, type the mail ID of the concerned teachers here and right in the subject, you need to type the message that is a, a, a less or 10 words message and in the body, you need to write the explanation of your issues, attach, your, attach the screenshot of your issues and click on send. And in, in your right hand corner, if you can see there is a Google Apps. The, uh, this Google Apps is accessible by you because you are a part of Google Suite now. When you click on the Google Apps, you can see many application softwares of Google here. For our educational purpose, we'll be using mainly the five applications. That is Gmail that you can see right now on your screen, Drive, Classroom, and Meet. Most commonly, we'll be using Classroom and Meet in our day-to-day -day activities. Doc and Sheet also can be used to say, give your assignment, type your assignment and send. Now, let me go and take a look of how a classroom appears, looks and how to use it. Now, when I click on the classroom application, it takes me to the Google Classroom of mine. Okay. In your Google Classroom, you can see different subject teachers would have sent you an invite you need to join the invite. For example, right now, a biology teacher has sent me an invite. I am going to click on join. This is a one-time process, procedure that you need to follow. When you click on join, you will be joining that particular class of biology. So when you join, this is the screen that looks, appears to you on your window. Now you have three tabs here, stream, classwork, people. Now, uh, in your stream, it, you get to see all the mail, all the videos, assignments posted by your teachers. Now, if you can observe here, uh, you, there is a video posted to you in your stream. When you click on the video, the video gets played of the expected subject. Now, if you can observe your video gets played now so that you can use and learn. The next one is the assi quiz assignments. And if your teacher have assigned you a quiz assignments, it also pops up in your stream. You are supposed to go and click on the assignment. Now, if you observe here, this is your screen that appears in your quiz assignment. You have to click on the form. Very, you click on the Google form and and take your 
quiz assignments you are going to go fill your information and take the quiz and very important is you need to click on the button submit when you're done with your quiz click on the submit button when you click on the submit button it tells you to see you want to open your assignment or view your score you can do both of it when you are done with it you can view your score how much you have scored total one question one marks you have scored when you're done with it you have to come here to this this particular tab and you have to click on mark as done this is very important students when you are submitted your click on submit button in your quiz you have to come down and click on mark as done without uh, taking the quiz if you click on mark as done you will it, your work won't be submitted now if you can see i have clicked on my submit button it is showing me a message turned in your quiz assignment is already submitted to your teacher you have to make sure to click on the mark has done option automatically it gets turned in and without submitting the quiz if you click on mark has done you will be marked absent please make a note of it you will be marked absent without submitting the quiz if you click on mark as done when you're done with your assi assignments quiz assignments you can again go back to your classes and click on the biology now you have uh, you have viewed the video you have taken your quiz assignments now a written assignment is being sent here if you can see here a assignment has been sent you have to click on pdf you can view the assignment what the teacher has assigned you you need to answer these questions in a sheet of paper or a book and you need to take a picture of it and upload let i'll just show you how you are going to do it now click on the assignment now if you can observe here you get this particular screen you are going to use adobe scan which i'll be telling you how to use adobe scan to scan your pictures in the later part of this video and store it now you are going to write your assignment sheet of paper and you are going to add your work now click on add or create and browse the file where you are stored browse it now if you observe here i'm going to browse it in my desktop computer and i have stored it called assignments folder wherein i have written an assignment i'm going to click on the assignment and then click on open the assignment gets uploaded now if you observe here my pdf assignment is getting uploaded this is the assignment what i have written i have scanned it and i have saved it in my computer and which i am using to upload it here i'm browsing and uploading it here see the format of the file name what i've given suma that is the child's name dot 9a that is my class and section dot biology is the subject which assignment i am doing you need to follow this format now when you have added your assignment very important is you have to click on turn in when you click on turn in only then this assignment what you have written gets submitted to your teachers now you observe i am be clicking on turn in it is asking me do you want to submit this particular pdf to that teacher assigned you click on turn in and it gets submitted can you see here you get a message turned in that means your pdf or your assignment is submitted to your teachers you need to follow these three steps now let me go to the class biology now if you have been, uh, observe here so this is how now you learned how to view a video how to take a quiz and how to upload an assignment now very important in how to join the live class if you have if your teachers have assigned a live class that she's going to be taking it today you see in google meet how you are going to join it if you observe here whenever there is a live class you get to see a meet link if you observe this point you can see a meet link you need to go and click on that when you click on that it is going to take you to a google meet screen where you need you have to click on join meeting can you all observe here can you can click on join now and you can join your go live class if it is scheduled by your teachers clear children very important this is the link that had the by clicking on it you can go and join your 
life class. Clear? So these are the four main important things that you will be using in the, your classroom, in your, in your subjects so regularly. That is watching the video, taking up your course assignments, uploading your assignments, and clicking on the link to join the live online class. Clear children? I think this much of, of the knowledge about the classroom is sufficient to have a very nice online class with your teachers. And one more thing, I, I need to, I need to uh, share you a few more details regarding the rules and regulations that you need to follow when you are taking your online classes. So, so very important is when you're taking your online classes in Google and Meet, you need to keep in these points in your consideration. Use Gmail ID to keep yourself up, updated regarding any official announcement from the school and office. So regularly be checking your mail IDs for any announcements. Email ID and password must be kept confidential and please respect everyone's privacy children. Student ID must not be used for a, uh, you must be used only for academic and school purpose. Email IDs and its use is monitored by the institution. Contact respective Google coordinator in the school to resolve any issues you're facing in your Google Classroom. Email IDs must not be given to any personal mail IDs off to any online or offline services like your Amazon Flipkart. You cannot use this particular mail IDs in uh, services. If, if you are found using it, your services will be terminated. These features will be accessible to you as long as you are a part of Kamal High School and it will all these um, features will be terminated when you graduate or leave the institution. See, one more very important in Google Classroom is you always need to log into your Google Classroom by the official mail ID only. That will be given to you by your teachers with the domain name carmelhighschool.org. Google Classroom is a virtual classroom mainly for where you can access classes, assignment quizzes, which I showed you right now. See, Google Classroom is monitored throughout by your teachers. She can access your account. She can go through what you are doing there. So please don't play around. Contact the respective coordinators if you have any issues, which the mail ID is, which I'll be showing, giving it to you right now. Uh, features accessible as long as you're part of a classroom. Uploading an assignment in an app. Now, if you are using your mobile phone, how are you going to upload it? Very important, if you are using your mobile phone, you need to have a software called scanner software in your device most commonly and most frequently used scanning software is adobe scan it is user friendly and easy to access so go first you need to go open your play store or app store and download adobe scan install it to your device when you're done installing please give them the access to your camera so that whatever picture you take they can have an access of it and get ready to use it after writing your assignment Open the app, that is Adopt Scan app, and follow the steps. First is, uh, click the steady and clear picture of each side of your assignment. So hold, place your mobile phone properly about the assignments of yours. Make sure the quality of the picture is good. That means it, whatever your assignment you have written, it is in a readable manner. Make sure it is a document. You have to select option called document, not business card form. Document, scan it. Click on the brighter area, adjust the camera so that the sunlight is properly falling on your assignment and click on the whole sheet at a time. Click on continue till you have all the sheets clicked. Okay, now when you're done, once all the pictures are clicked, check the number of the pictures. Okay. Observe here, check the number of the pictures. It has to be same as the answer script that you have written. Then press on the pictures. When you click on it, you get to go to this screen. If you observe here, make sure the content what you have written is visible. And if it is the picture is rotated, you can click on the rotate and make all the document vertical so that it is easier for the teachers to read it. And if you feel that the picture what you have taken is not 
up to the quality or not up, it's not readable you can delete it and continue the procedure start the procedure again very important if it is vertical make sure all your documents are vertical okay very important thing is you give a name how we are going to give a name click on the pen icon can you see a pen icon here that is the edit button click on edit when you click on edit then you can change the name for your file document very important please give a name so that we know which child has written what you need to follow this particular procedure format to give a name name dot class and section dot subject for example the child name is amit then amit dot 10 a dot english give a name to your document in this format and make sure all are in capital caps and follow this format every time when assignment is given otherwise it becomes very difficult for us to know which child's assignment it is then you are going to when you are done giving a name to your assignment renaming it you are going to click on option called save pdf when you when you click on this option your pdf gets saved and you have to go click on the more option and you have to tell because it will be saved in your adobe scan you need to save it in your device now you're going to go click on more and tell later you are going to click on option copy to device when you click on copy to device it is going uh, when you're done with it you have to go and open your google classroom application that you have downloaded in your mobile phones click on it open the respective subjects look for the assignments where you need to upload it click on the assignments when you click on the assignment you are you are going to open this page see i showed you earlier also in biology that is a desktop version how it looks this is in your mobile version how it is going to look now click on your work add attachment when you click on add attachment it go, it show uh, it allows you to browse you through all the storage works storage um, files that you have already stored in your mobile phone select your work and very important thing is to when your work is selected it gets attached your pdf gets attached here then you need to click on the option called turned in this is very important children you need to click on the option called turned in only when you click on turned in your work gets submitted to you and so that your teachers can view your work click on turned in then again click on turned in your work gets submitted